It's a really difficult uh, crisis that we're dealing with at the moment between uh, Bangladesh and Myanmar on the Rohingya question. There are currently over a million Rohingya living in Bangladesh, in Cox's Bazaar, in one of the poorest areas of Bangladesh. And while the Bangladesh government is extremely welcoming, they've also been uh, you know, facing a lot of um, pressure from the local communities to try to find a solution to this. I think it's not a very feasible solution, but I do think that what needs to happen actually is really political will on the side of Myanmar uh, to find a way to not only accept a return uh, of the refugees physically, but actually also to really extend basic rights uh, to these refugees. And I think the Myanmar government has shifted a little bit in terms of um, being willing uh, at least to explore um, some issues, but I think that some of the fundamental ones, such as freedom of movement, citizenship, um, and return to the original land of the refugees, those issues have not yet been dealt with. And I really do, don't think that there's a better solution than actually working with Myanmar um, to find a way to be able to address those issues. Uh, the, citizen, the citizenship issue is fundamental because that's actually the root of the problem. The problem is a statelessness issue, and if we don't solve the issue of statelessness, we'll actually never find an end to this. Uh, that is really the most feasible um, solution at the end of the day, although I think it is a very difficult one, and it's going to take a lot of effort and a lot of um, political will on the part of not only Myanmar and Bangladesh, but I think the entire region to try to take that uh, issue forward.